Would you give a stranger the ability to unlock your door? Pretty tough ask, but it's one that local cities are making more and more to local business owners. Steve Garciola is in Bedford Township where they're getting used to the idea in the name of safety. On the face of it, it doesn't sound like a very good idea. A business owner hanging a key to the building outside next to the front door. But there's a little bit more to it than that. By the end of this year, nearly every business in Bedford Township will have a lockbox like this one hanging next to their front door. It's now required to satisfy fire code for Inspector Doug Steinman. It's secured uh, to the front of the building. It holds building keys and also holds uh, uh, after hours information. The business owner must pay for the box and its installation. But it's money well spent, says Rich Kenny, who owns the Forest View bowling lanes in Temperance. It would be probably three to five thousand dollars in damage at the front door to break in the building to take care of a fire. For a couple hundred dollar investment in the box, it would reduce that risk and that expense. The one concern critics voice is having a master key to the business in the hands of the fire department. Just how accessible is that key? And who has access? Each one of our fire engines apparatus uh, has what's called a key secure. So we don't have keys that are hanging on uh, rings on, on trucks. They're in secure devices. Uh, and you got to put your four digit pin in to access the master key out. Every key is counted for. If installed properly, the manufacturer says the box is as secure as a bank vault. And if there is a fire, the time saved by firefighters could make all the difference in avoiding a disaster. It gains us access to the building quickly. If there's some type of emergency, we can address it immediately without having to wait for a key holder that may be 10, 15, 20 minutes. In Bedford Township, I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4.